Hello everybody, welcome to Tom's Tips. Uh, in Wigan, this is my dartboard, but we're not playing darts today. I'm going to try and explain to you the difference between a gravity system and a pressurised system on domestic hot water. A gravity system, there's a dead giveaway, it'll have a tank in the attic. But well, it might not be in the attic, it might be in the cellar cupboard. But the higher it is, the better it is. Because what's, what we're relying on, on this system, is gravity. And that's why it's called a gravity system. Gravity is pushing down on that water in the tank. Which in turn is pushing down always to try and get out of that tank. Now it has got a route out of that tank into the cylinder. So the water's pushing down there, into there, and the outlet's at the top. Let's have a vent over there, and the hot water comes off that vent to the taps. So it's pushing like that, it has to push up, can't push down, there's nowhere to go. The hot water comes off the top. So it's pushing in all directions now. It can't push any higher than that because the water is at that level. So it can't push any further than that. There's no pressure there because the water is pushing there in that way. So it's pushing it all the way to the taps. And when you open the tap, there it comes. And that's why it's called gravity. It's gravity pushing there. It's totally reliant on gravity. There's no pumps, nothing. And that is a domestic hot water gravity system. It's as simple as that. Right. Now then. That's an old fashioned system, so now I'm going to wipe that clean and explain to you the other, the other type. The other type is what we call uh, a pressurised system. You might hear it called a mega flow system or a seal system. But what's reliant on is water pressure. You've got a cylinder the same, but you've no tank. You've no tank above, but what you will have is uh, a pressure vessel. And that's usually white if it's domestic hot water. If it's red, it's a heating pressure uh, pressure vessel. And all that does, it takes up the hot water, has the hot water expands it's gone off somewhere to go and that's where it is it's, it's like a giant hot water bottle uh, the, the water the pressure will, will take in there and then it comes back out into the tank when it cools off it's fed directly from the mains well not directly there's a, there's a couple of valves the isolation valve filter um, and there's also got a pressure relief valve in case anything does build up and that fails, it's got somewhere else to go, it'll blow off. Right, the hot water comes off the top as the other one because it's the same situation with the hot water as the water heats, it's all at the top there. And it's the pressure from the mains pushing that pushes the hot water to the taps. Nothing to do with gravity at all. So when you open that tap, that lets that in and it comes out there. And the, uh, the, the, the benefit of that is that your hot water is the same pressure as your cold water. That's why it's going on also you've no tanks in the attic. So it's a better system really if you've got the pressure. It's no good to you if you've no pressure there. Right, so that is a pressurised or a seal system or a metaphor system. Right, next up is um, central heating gravity flow. I'll just rub this out, go back in a sec. Right, so when we're talking about gravity on central heating systems, we're not talking about any pressure that's coming out of the taps or any pressure that's going to the radiators. Although it does work a similar way, we've got a, a little tank up here And we've also got a 
last cylinder and we'll have a boiler. Now the central heating is going to the radiators and that's pumped. But when we refer to hot water heating as gravity, we're talking about the water, the, 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 the water that's going from the boiler to the cylinder. Because the cylinder is a coil into the cylinder, so it's separate from the hot water that's coming out the taps. So separate water, and you have a vent over that tank and a coal feed going into the turn. And what we're saying that it's gravity, it's the, the, the movement of the water in here, when the boiler fires up, it heats the water, so the hot water becomes lighter, so it rises. And it goes into the cylinder, and it's giving off its heat, so it becomes cooler, and falls back down to the boiler. And it's that motion there of heat making the water lighter to, so it rises and then the weight of the cold water falling back down. That's what we refer to as a gravity fed central heating. So I hope um, that's cleared it up for some of you.